Hi, my name is Ola and I would like to invite you to my project presentation. This term, I was asked to create a design proposal for a retail space in the year 2041. Currently, our planet Earth faces seven biggest environmental problems. Three of them will be addressed within this project proposal, food waste, air pollution and plastic pollution. Knowing that the retail has been struggling to attract customers due to technology evolving and online shopping, the role of a designer is to find a possible solution to this issue. We were given the opportunity to choose a client for this project. I wanted to work on a brand that brings a change, has a modern approach and serves a bigger purpose. A lot of research was put into this and finally I found a brand called Bambuzo with a mission to teach people composting at home. Bambuzo is a new startup brand launched back in 2015 in North Carolina, USA and they create home goods made out of bamboo. The main product is the countertop luxury composter that comes with accessories to make the process quicker and more pleasurable for busy people. They offer kitchen accessories, disposable utensils and cute kids collections. The owners created Bambuzo as a side effect to their core business which is production of sustainable and biodegradable materials like bamboo fiber and asterisk. In order to be able to present to their customers what can be made out of this type of materials, biodegradable into 15 years, they needed to present demo products. Their online presence is not yet strongly established. They have only a few hundred followers on Pinterest, a few thousand on Instagram. Perhaps this is an area of improvement once the brand owns their showroom and is able to spread the word on their innovative products. They use online tools to promote their brand like Kickstarter where they raise more than 11,000 US dollars in just 30 days for production of the sustainable, which is totally made of asterisk. The company doesn't know yet a lot about their target audience, so I've helped them to analyze few groups and their behaviors. So Generation X say they are interested in eco products. Millennials say that they want brands to embrace purpose and sustainability, and Generation Z conscious consumers carefully checking all ingredients. They don't have many reviews online, but I was able to extract a few. Out of my research, I know that consumers are looking for brands that provide products and service that help them simplify their life, and Bambozo Composter is one of them. The future of retail is going to change and more brands owning flagship stores will put effort into experience-based selling strategy. This is my proposal of how the brand can develop into the future in terms of product lines and innovations. So they can pr start producing, apart from kitchenware, maybe some home decor. Their brand identification is based on rather pale colors. So I have adjusted their color palette into more bold and more vivid colors. Bambuzo is a pioneer in producing asterisk and all other brands source their material from them, but they could potentially go into something new that would help people to understand why they need to compost and what can they do with the compost that they produce later. And this led me to vertical farming. It is expected that by 2050 people start growing their food at home and this could potentially be also the future of Bambuzo. After the phone conversation with the brand manager Avishai Greenstein, I was explained that the true competition is not in companies that produce stuff from the same material as they do, so bamboo or anything organic, but rather their true competition is in plastic. Brands like Cuisine Art, Oxo, Tefal and IKEA produce fancy practical kitchen accessories that are affordable. Their products are being sold in millions of pieces each year and the true challenge is to educate and convince potential customers to switch their interest into more sustainable products like bamboo products. There are a few takeaways that I'm going to take with me when developing the design in terms of company's mission and what they try to do in the future, their product line, how they can grow, their innovation and of course the competitors knowing where they are now and where they want to be in the next 20 years. And here I'm going to propose to shift to zero waste. The environment and the climate need to be fully protected. This can only be achieved if we open ourselves to a sustainable life. 
are dilemmas that we live in a finite world but behave as if it was inexhaustible. So there are a few things that we can change in our everyday lives in order to, you know, be better humans. And this will cost us nothing, it's just the matter of making better decisions. We need to make small changes and this is when the shift happens. We need to grow and educate ourselves on what is organic waste, why landfills don't work and what about recycling. If you ask yourself a question, should I compost? My answer is yes, you should compost to help us all live in a better environment. Composting is completely free and you can do it at home. You can save money and reduce your impact. Food leftovers make up around 30% of waste we toss away and by composting the trash it reduces methane emissions from landfills while also returning nutrient-rich material to the soil. It extends the life of landfills, it reduces civic costs for waste collection which we pay a lot of money for. And remember, residential waste is 40% compostable materials. I invite you to my dossier when you can read more about the process of composting, what it needs and how you can do it even if you don't have a known garden. It is impactful to see how the retail has changed in last century from small local stores to multi stores, warehouses, shopping villages and finally to online shopping experience and a few more innovations are to join them. The retail industry is seeing a rapid transformation with the Internet of Things solutions taking the center stage in the sector. Here are the components that I'm going to use for the project. Artificial intelligence with the use of robots, checkout free like Shopify self checkout or Amazon Go store, scan and go stores which is a similar feature but in brick and mortar store and the use of RFID tags, a type of tracking system that uses smart barcodes to track and identify items, digital signage and this helps retail companies to provide personalized and interactive shopping experience. Smart shelves have already started working in the retail industry and I'm going to implement them as well. Extended virtual reality for a better customer experience both in store and online and of course, experience-based retail stores, because it is not only about the act of selling, customers are hungry for new experiences, and this especially is for the Generation Z. And lastly, by 2040, Westminster London is obliged to become carbon neutral, and there is a lot to do and a little time, and we have to act now. Retail trends for 2041, I have grouped it into four main pillars, the generation shift in trends, the technology, sustainability and function, and I have applied them different important scale from important to super and ultra important. What I've taken out of this is the understanding how different generations perceive different products and different activities what will be the change in technology and of course about the sustainability that everything related with the showroom, all the processes, they should be considered in terms of sustainability. I have analyzed customers' behaviors depending on the generational cohorts from baby boomers, millennials, generation X and finally generation Z. And my outcome is that a successful bricks and mortar store is no longer a place slowly for shopping. It is also a place of entertainment and of technology enabled elements that facilitate online to offline integration. In order to be on the right track with knowing where I want to take the design, especially because it has to be based in the future, I have gone into a retail study analyzing different showrooms that were delivering their experience that I was looking. As an example, an Apple store was the first one to introduce this trend back in 2001. And actually, they managed to create Apple lifestyle rather than just a showroom. And it was a completely new experience. Years later, there are many other who follow their footprint like Samsung, me, Nespresso. Watching this trend evolving, I am about to look into the future. It was important to see different layouts, how people think of the traffic flow within a retail space. So the key information that are learned from, from the layouts are the zoning, the plan that is mostly divided into retail sell services and private, 
And of course, some key features like amount of daylight coming inside the building, a staircase, kid zone, an auditorium, genius bar, and Apple Care means customer service point. I, of course, had to look into the aesthetics of the futuristic design and was able to find some examples online. What I noticed from here was the curvature, the color scheme, the plenty of light and very subtle LED lighting. Of course, robotics are part of human daily life at this point. As observed on presented examples, the futuristic look has become already more popular. It's called techno-organic or sensual minimalism by Karim Rashid. Curves and bended lines are one of the key elements and they bring this human part into the geometric architectural shapes. They seem to be very sensual, evocative and sculptural. Flooring design as well as ceiling is an art on their own and they have to be coordinated. They play a very important part in the overall design feel. So the retail space to be designed is located in the ground floor in the central London Great Marlborough Street. The building is just opposite a Liberty famous landmark. It is a place with a lot of history and very famous names like William Morris, Arthur Silver, Cacharel, Yves Saint Laurent, Vivian Westwood and many many more. The street also inspired the name of Philip Morris Marlboro cigarettes. Ground floor retail space has main entrance from Great Marlboro Street and two large glazed openings which are perfect to showcase the brand. I have analyzed the exterior and the interior of the space, being able to see what has to stay, what constructions elements are there and how much I can play with the space to move things around. After being reached with all the research, I went to concept creation. I started it with two mind maps. The first one was for me to be able to approach a proper concept creation to extract keywords, but also colors, shapes, the concept phrase, concept ingredients, and the idea for the development. The keywords started with everything that was related to nature. I have extracted some keywords that stand out more than others. Roots, materials, disposal, the process, bamboo, ashic, organic, lifestyle, zero waste, and then I've decided that everything that is related to nature was standing out more and was giving me more things to work with, like life cycle, seed, plant, own food, seeds, herbs and vegetables. The chosen concept phrase for this project is give it back to nature and it hides multiple meanings. The first, the obvious one, is about the ecologic process of returning to the nature its elements in simplified forms. So in this case, for the bamboozle brand, it means the process of composting. Here are some images that inspired me. So the waste molecule, some parametric architecture, the bamboo, and the bamboo basketry hanakogo. I made it here to create this concept image that includes everything. And just with one glimpse, it shows and explains what will be the vibe of the project. It has plenty of symbols. Moving into design development, as mentioned previously, Hanakago is a bamboo plating art and it inspired me greatly and I wanted to discover how bamboo baskets are plated, what are the techniques and if they can be applied to a macro scale like architecture. I've analyzed different patterns and ways of plating. These are all my sketches. I knew I wanted to create a piece of parametric interior structure and I had to learn how to approach it properly. So for this, I took additional one and a half month course where I had to learn a special programming software called Maya. And these were my initial sketches that I've started the design with. This is an actual basket plated by a Japanese artist. I have used many different modifications as a result, I received two complex shapes. This is the same technique that is later used in the program to create parametric elements. I needed to create a very simple pattern because I wanted to print this pattern in 3D. Without this, it would be impossible to recreate it later in 3D world. Apart from this, I've created models, physical models, so with a few branches, I've created different shapes and have photographed them, then sketch on top of them and have extracted the lines to simplify the forms. In order to have a variety of models, 
I've used different parts of bamboo branches. I particularly like the pillars that created automatically out of just loose branches. There are plenty of pillars in the design and I didn't want to look at them as a limitation. I wanted to transform them into a feature. Another method that I've used to create some interesting forms was making bioplastic. As mentioned before, Pampuzel produces Astrich, which is a bamboo fiber combined with bioplastic. So I wanted to make one at home and I did the process myself using potato starch, vinegar, glycerin and water. I have combined everything together and then create it and then put it in through the process of extrusion. I took a few pictures and wanted to see them in different scales, so I've applied human figures on top of that. Again, I've sketched on top of them and have extracted simple lines to see if they create any sort of forms that would be interesting to me. Then having modeled various structures via different methods, I've then applied a shift form on the 3D model to test these ideas. It links back to life cycle and a new life. Out of something used, we can grow something new. So these are the plant-like structures. I call them bamboozle plants. This is how the structures look like together. They will be made of astric and bamboo and they will be completely printed by automated robotic fabrication process. I've placed a feature staircase around the main pillar. I've experimented with different zoning layouts. I, I kind of like them all. The other one had display zone and product spread too much all over the space. It then became clear with the latest version, which was a combination of variants two and three. And the reason for it is increased display, storage and staff zone and better traffic flow for customers. I did some sketches to inspire the design further and created the CGI knowing how the zoning will work. And let's move to the final proposal. So this is how the space finally looks like. As I explained previously, we enter from Great Marlborough Street and we are just right into the display zone. The main function of the ground floor plan is a display of products that customers can purchase by simply taking them off the shelf. Smart Shelf system is located near the entrance to facilitate quick buying for customers. Clients who want to talk about the product or experience it prior to buying are invited to dive inside the store and pass through this play to the experience zone called the life cycle. This is an obligatory decompressing zone to pass, however it is not forcing to use the digital display stands to play fun games or simply hear about the products and sustainable lifestyle. The aim of the zone is to make a user understand that there is a life cycle to each product they buy. Then big scale waste molecules hang from the ceiling to give an impression a person is a part of a much bigger process that surrounds us. Main staircase and the lift is directed to the right hand side and the feature staircase going to the basement to the left. In the rear are located handy storage and social room with a kitchenette and toilet for employees. In this model, employees do not have a fixed working space, but rather are walking freely through the space and engage customers. This is an important factor of real human for baby boomers and Generation X who still prefer a direct contact with another person. In order to make the experience effortless, there are numbers of Internet of Things technologies that are used in the design. There are no cashiers or self checkout points anymore. Scan and go and click and collect system based on smart tags. The radio frequency and Bluetooth allow customers to just take any product and leave. You can get to the basement with the use of main staircase, the lift and the feature staircase. The main purpose of basement is to deliver spaces for both customers and employees. Following this logic, clients have access to workshop zone to learn how to prepare healthy food and compost at the same time. Employees have access to large storage to the right and then again a private vertical farming zone which helps them to grow more food and actually use the compost that people produce. There is an office and small kitchen for employees and a technical room where all servers are located. This is where the brain of the showroom is hidden. There will be holographic screens displayed on looking glass with AK immersive display. It is expected that by 2050, 
people will start growing their own food at home and vertical farming of herbs and miniaturized vegetables are here to close the cycle of life experience and show how important composting process can be in everyone's household. Due to the limited space and the height on that lever, there isn't enough space and mezzanine has a primary fu function of being an exit road because this is where the fire exit is located. I have placed here a lounging space with comfortable sitting and a small juice bar with a few tables. The reason for it was the fact that customer can potentially spend a couple of hours testing all experiences in store on the ground floor and basement and they will need a space to rest and relax. The mezzanine also features a gallery to admire the bamboozle plants parametric installations and this is the highest point and it is possible to see them from the top so the generation Z can take selfies and post them on social media. So this is my proposal of the innovative for 2041 design of a showroom space meets generational expectations of different generations from baby boomers to generation Z. I believe that the concept of give it back to nature is visible through design development and also in many stages, not only in architecture, but also with the functionality of the retail store. Thank you.